I'm Taylor Ingram, field service engineer for Chart Industries. And today we're going to go over the proper filling procedure to fill a companion portable unit off of a Liberator base unit. This will be the procedure a patient would use to fill their companion portable up prior to use. First thing you want to do is actually wipe your fill connectors off, both the blue fill connector on the reservoir and the blue fill connector on your companion unit. Start with the reservoir. You'll use a clean and dry lint-free cloth. Just wipe off very gently. Be careful not to apply downward force to disturb the poppet in the center when you're wiping it off. Removing all this moisture is important because if you get moisture on the fill connectors, as you start filling, that can freeze and cause leaks after the fill. Now you want to wipe off on the actual companion unit. You do want to be careful to keep it upright while you're wiping it off, but you'll stick your clean and dry lint-free cloth under there and wipe the fill connector there. Once you've wiped off your fill connectors, you're ready to begin filling. To fill the companion unit, the first thing you want to do is align the fill connector, which is here on the bottom of the unit, on the back side. You want to align it with the blue fill connector on top of the reservoir. Align your fill connector and apply downward force down with both hands. After you do this, to start the fill, you'll open the vent valve on your portable unit. As soon as you hold down the vent valve, you will begin to hear a hissing noise indicating that liquid is flowing into the tank. After the first 20 to 30 seconds of the fill, you'll want to close the vent valve briefly and reopen it. This will prevent the vent valve from freezing open. This is the only time you'll need to do this. For the rest of the duration of the fill, leave the vent valve in the open position. The entire time that you're filling, as you see me doing, you'll also want to continue to apply the downward force on the top of the tank with one hand. When the tank is full, you'll begin to see a dense white vapor cloud uh, greater than what you saw during the normal filling begin to form. You'll also hear a sputtering noise that you'll hear here at the end of this video. This will be the time when the tank is full. Immediately after you hear that sputtering noise that you just did, close the vent valve, grasp the companion by the handle, and use the pop-off assembly on the Liberator to pop the machine off, and now you're ready to get it.